The Decline of Kmart What is going on? Kmart once dominated the retail landscape, but today it finds itself in a very different position. In this video, we take a look at the factors that have led to the decline of Kmart, and what the future may hold for the company. Let's get started. Please like, subscribe and turn on the notification button to keep supporting our channel. 1. How Kmart's decline can teach us about the dangers of complacency. In the early 1990s, Kmart was the second largest retailer in the United States. But by the end of the decade, the company was in serious trouble. In 2000, Kmart filed for bankruptcy and emerged as a much smaller company. Today, Kmart is a shadow of its former self. But the company's decline can teach us a lot about the dangers of complacency. Kmart's decline was largely due to two factors, complacency and competition. In the early 1990s, Kmart was the dominant player in the discount retail space. The company was so successful that it became complacent. Kmart didn't invest in new store locations or in upgrading its existing stores. At the same time, a new competitor, Walmart, was rapidly gaining market share. Walmart was investing heavily in new stores and in upgrading its existing stores. Walmart's low prices and convenient locations began to attract Kmart's customers. As Walmart continued to grow, Kmart's market share continued to decline. By the end of the 1990s, Kmart was in serious financial trouble. When a company is successful, it's important to stay focused and to keep investing in the business. Complacency can be deadly. To the fall of Kmart, what went wrong? In the early 1990s, Kmart was flying high. The company was the second largest retailer in the United States, behind only Walmart. They had nearly 2,500 stores across the country, and were bringing in billions of dollars in annual revenue. But then, things started to go wrong. Kmart began to lose market share to Walmart and other discount retailers. They closed stores and laid off workers. In 2002, they filed for bankruptcy. They emerged from bankruptcy in 2003, but have continued to struggle. In 2016, they filed for bankruptcy again. So, what went wrong? There are a few major factors. First, Walmart was able to undercut Kmart on price. Walmart was able to sell items for cheaper because they operated on a different business model. They owned their own factories and warehouses, which allowed them to get goods at a lower cost. They also built their stores in small towns, which helped keep their overhead low. Second, Kmart made a series of bad decisions. They invested heavily in new technologies that didn't pan out. They also expanded too quickly, opening too many stores in areas that weren't profitable. Third, the company failed to keep up with changing consumer tastes. Kmart was known for selling cheap, basic items. But as consumers became more affluent, they wanted more than just cheap goods. They wanted quality items and brands that they could trust. Kmart didn't offer this, and lost customers as a result. Fourth, Kmart was slow to adapt to the digital age. They didn't have an e-commerce site until 2000, long after other retailers had launched their own. They also failed to invest in mobile and online shopping, 
missing out on a huge opportunity. Finally, Kmart was saddled with debt. Much of this debt was incurred during their first bankruptcy. They took on more debt to try to fund a turnaround, but it only made things worse. 3. Learning from Kmart's mistakes, what other retailers can do to avoid a similar fate. The retail landscape is constantly evolving, and no company is immune to the threat of disruptive change. Just look at what happened to Sears, once the undisputed king of retail. Sears was brought down by a perfect storm of factors, including the rise of e-commerce, the popularity of big box retailers, and new shopping habits. Now, Kmart is facing many of the same challenges that Sears did. The company has filed for bankruptcy twice in the last six years, and its future is very much in doubt. So, what can other retailers do to avoid a similar fate? For starters, they need to be aware of the evolving retail landscape and the threats that come with it. They also need to be willing to adapt to change, whether that means investing in e-commerce or reinventing the in-store experience. And, perhaps most importantly, they need to learn from the mistakes of companies like Sears and Kmart. Here are three lessons that all retailers can learn from Kmart's troubles. 1. Don't underestimate the power of e-commerce. Kmart was slow to embrace e-commerce, and it paid the price. 2. The company was late to launch its own online store, and it never developed a truly competitive e-commerce offering. As a result, Kmart missed out on the billions of dollars that shoppers have been spending online in recent years. And its brick and mortar store suffered as a result. Other retailers need to learn from Kmart's mistake and make e-commerce a priority. That means investing in a robust online platform and making sure that it is integrated with the brick and mortar store. Two big box stores are a big threat. Kmart was once the biggest retailer in the country. But it was quickly eclipsed by Walmart, Target, and other big box chains. These companies were able to offer lower prices and a wider selection of merchandise than Kmart. They also invested heavily in e-commerce, which further eroded Kmart's market share. Retailers need to be aware of the threat that big box stores pose. They need to offer competitive prices and a good selection of products. And they need to have a strong online presence to stay ahead of the curve. 3. Shopping habits are changing. Kmart's troubles are also a result of changing shopping habits. Consumers are increasingly doing their shopping online, and they're less likely to visit brick-and-mortar stores. This shift has had a big impact on Kmart, which relies heavily on foot traffic. The company has been struggling to get people into its stores, and its sales have suffered as a result. Other retailers need to be aware of this changing landscape and adjust their strategies accordingly. They need to find ways to get people into their stores, whether that means offering unique products or experience or investing in e-commerce. The bottom line is that no company is immune to the threat of disruptive change. Retailers need to be aware of the evolving landscape and the challenges that come with it. They also need to be willing to adapt to change and learn from the mistakes of companies like Sears and Kmart. What do you think retailers can do to avoid a similar fate? Share your thoughts in the comments. For the demise of Kmart, what it says about the current state of the retail industry. It's no secret that the retail industry is facing some tough times. Stores are closing left and right, 
and even some of the biggest names in the business are struggling to keep up. This is just the latest sign that the retail industry is in a state of flux, and that traditional brick and mortar stores are having a hard time competing with online retailers. There are a number of factors at play here, but the bottom line is that the retail landscape is changing, and Kmart is just the latest casualty. So what does the demise of Kmart say about the current state of the retail industry? Let's take a look. 1. Consumers are shopping online more than ever. One of the biggest reasons for the decline of brick and mortar stores is the fact that consumers are shopping online more than ever. According to a recent study, nearly 60% of consumers said they had made an online purchase in the past month. That's a huge increase from just a few years ago, and it's only going to continue to grow. There are a number of reasons for this shift, but the biggest one is convenience. It's simply easier to shop online than it is to go to a store, and consumers are increasingly looking for ways to save time. 2. Shopping online is often cheaper. Another reason consumers are shopping online more is because it's often cheaper than shopping at a brick and mortar store. Thanks to the competition that exists online, retailers are often forced to offer lower prices in order to stay competitive. That's good news for consumers, but it's bad news for brick and mortar retailers who can't match those prices. Three traditional retailers are struggling to keep up. The rise of online shopping has caught a lot of traditional retailers off guard. They're simply not used to competing in this space, and they're struggling to keep up. This is one of the biggest reasons we're seeing so many store closings, as traditional retailers are simply not able to compete with the likes of Amazon and other online retailers. 4. Retailers need to find a way to compete. If traditional retailers want to survive, they need to find a way to compete with the likes of Amazon and other online retailers. That means offering lower prices, being more convenient, and finding other ways to stand out. It's not going to be easy, but it's the only way traditional retailers are going to be able to stay afloat. The demise of Kmart is just the latest sign that the retail industry is in a state of flux. Traditional brick and mortar stores are struggling to keep up with the likes of Amazon and other online retailers. If they want to survive, they need to find a way to compete. 5. What the Kmart bankruptcy means for the future of retail The Kmart bankruptcy is a major blow to the retail industry. Kmart was one of the biggest retailers in the country and its bankruptcy will have ripple effects throughout the industry. Many experts are predicting that this is just the beginning of a long decline for the retail industry as a whole. The rise of online shopping and the decline of brick and mortar stores has been well documented in recent years, and the Kmart bankruptcy is likely to accelerate this trend. Kmart was not able to keep up with the changes in the retail industry and has been struggling for years. Its bankruptcy is a sign that the traditional retail model is no longer viable. The company has been closing stores and shedding jobs for years, and this is likely to continue in the wake of the bankruptcy. The Kmart bankruptcy is a wake-up call for the retail industry. Brick-and-mortar retailers need to find a way to adapt to the changing landscape where they will continue to struggle. Many retailers are already struggling to compete with online retailers, and the Kmart bankruptcy is likely to put even more pressure on them. The future of retail is uncertain, but it is clear that the industry is in for a major shakeup. The Kmart bankruptcy is just the latest sign of the times, and it is likely that we will see more major retailers declare bankruptcy in the coming years. The retail industry is changing, and those companies that can't keep up will be left behind. 
6K Mart's Bankruptcy, What It Means for the American Consumer The news of Kmart's bankruptcy filing has left many consumers wondering what this means for them. Kmart has long been a staple in the American retail landscape, and its bankruptcy filing will surely have an impact on the retail industry as a whole. So, what does Kmart's bankruptcy mean for the American consumer? For starters, it's important to understand that Kmart is not alone in its struggles. Many retail stores have been struggling in recent years as consumers move more of their spending online. Just last year, Toys R Us filed for bankruptcy and announced it would be closing all of its stores. This trend has been particularly tough on brick and mortar stores that sell products that can easily be purchased online. And it's not just big box stores that have been hurt by this trend. Smaller, local retailers have also been struggling to compete with the convenience and lower prices of online shopping. So, what does this all mean for the American consumer? Well, it's important to remember that Kmart is just one store and that there are still many other retail options out there. However, the bankruptcy filing does shine a light on the challenges that the retail industry is currently facing. It's also important to keep in mind that, while Kmart may be struggling, the company is still open for business. Kmart stores will likely continue to offer discounts and sales in an effort to attract customers. So, if you're looking for a good deal on items like clothes or toys, Kmart may still be worth a visit. Finally, it's important to remember that Kmart's bankruptcy is not a death sentence for the company. While this may be a difficult time for Kmart, the company has been through tough times before and has emerged stronger. So, while Kmart's future may be uncertain, it's important to remember that the company has a history of bouncing back. 7. The Death of Kmart, a eulogy for a once great retailer. On March 22, 2018, it was announced that Kmart would be closing its doors for good. This news came as a shock to many as the retailer had been a staple in the American shopping landscape for decades. Kmart first opened its doors in 1962, and quickly became known for its low prices and convenient locations. Over the years, the retailer expanded its offerings to include electronics, clothes, and even groceries. Kmart was a one-stop shop for everything a family might need, and its slogan The Stuff of Life reflected this. For many Americans, Kmart was more than just a store, it was a way of life. The retailer was known for its fun commercials and catchy jingles, which often featured celebrities like Joe Cocker and Michele. Kmart was also known for its generous return policy, which allowed customers to return items without a receipt. The retailer was also known for its loyal employees, many of whom had worked at Kmart for decades. These employees were like family to customers, and they often went above and beyond to help them find what they were looking for. Unfortunately, Kmart could not keep up with the changing times. The advent of online shopping and the rise of Amazon posed a serious threat to the retailer, and its sales began to decline. In 2002, Kmart filed for bankruptcy, and it has been struggling ever since. The closure of Kmart is a bittersweet moment for many Americans. While it is sad to see a once great retailer close its doors, it is also a reminder of the changing times. Kmart will be missed, but its legacy will live on in the memories of those who shop there. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you won't miss any updates.